ask as many questions as you want because we're on a time frame, which kind of sucks. Fair enough. But um, uh, who is your current tattoo artist? Because basically this is for Skin Art Magazine. Good. We're trying to. I have three. Is that? Oh yeah. Name them all. Ashley McMullen, my girlfriend. Oh, uh, Dustin Haran, and Dan Belcher. And out, of, work out of. Ashley works out at True Tattoo in Clifton Park, New York, and Dan and Dustin. Uh, own and operate the Dead Presidents Lounge in Albany, New York. Uh, I get tattooed by Jeremy McIntosh at Pygmalion Tattoo in Greenfield, Massachusetts. Nice. Now, uh, I get tattooed by Andy Barrett. I don't know the name of his shop, but it's in Chicopee, Mass. Sweet. It's new. It's new. <laughs> All right. And, um, why do you uh, reject the label of deathcore, and why do you think you have been categorized in that genre of music? Uh, I feel like we categorize that way because uh, people need to label things. You know, people need to say, "Well, this is this kind of music, and this is this kind of music." We don't really fit with anything. I mean, we, if we tour with hardcore bands, we're a metal band, and if we tour with metal bands, we're the hardcore band. So it's like. People don't know what to call us, so they just call us deathcore because that's the that's the new that's the new thing these days. And, and uh, I I don't like I don't like being called deathcore, but I don't like when anybody's being anybody's called deathcore because I just think it's a silly it's a silly name. Death metal and hardcore. Like if you're gonna call them deathcore, I might as well just call them just death metal, I guess. Hardcore influenced death metal, or a bunch of wiggers playing death metal I mean I don't know what I don't know death core is just so it's just a stupid it's just stupid to me right and uh, I, th I just think k is a metal metal core band which is also stupid but what, uh, whatever <laughs> I guess definitely like that answer thank you <laughs> uh, do you guys prefer to play large venues or small venues it depends on the day yeah, it depends I mean I like playing large venues because normally when we play large venues we're playing in front of a new crowd you know, and it's it's big and it's open and there's a bunch of kids that, like on this tour, like all the vendors are huge and it's it's filled. They're filled with kids that they don't really know who we are and they're here to see Under Oath or they're here to see Asley Dying. They're like, well, well, what's this band all about? And they're getting to see us in a setting where they they normally never get to see us at all because they would, just wouldn't come to see us. <laughs> um, but at the same time, I like playing small venues because they're so intimate, intimate and personal. And that's the kind of band we are, we're like a personal band. Like we like having the crowd involved and like getting kids to stage dive and I like, you know, grabbing kids around the head and just choking them and, and uh, you know, jumping off the, st I like to stage dive myself during our set and like, it feels better because it feels like everyone is actually, as yeah. opposed to this where everyone's like, <laughs> just staring at you. 30 feet away behind a barricade. Smaller venues, everyone's like, ah, you know, they're right in your face and, and you know, you can tell they're having a good time, right? So. I just got a single a couple out, I guess. Uh, you guys try that label of uh, most craziest fan you've had so far? Most of our crazy fans end up becoming our friends. Yeah. Yeah, in a way. So, what do you want? <laughs> most of our crazy fans end up becoming our friends, and it's too late before we. Like, they're already our friends, and it's too late to realize that they're crazy. And. They're just around all the time. So they're just like, oh, like, they bring us food and like, yeah, hey, that's cool. And then they're like, I love you. Yeah. We're best uh, friends. And they have your phone number and they always text you. And it's just like, <laughs> I don't know. Crazy fans. That's the craziest fan story. The craziest the fans, fans are friends. Are the <laughs> fans that <laughs> become yeah. friends and we wish we were never friends with them. So.
I mean, we have a ton of plans. We're busy touring, like I said, up until like April or May of 2011. Um, but, I mean, who knows what the future holds? I could die tomorrow. Who knows what? Oh, hopefully not. All the plans could <laughs> go crashing down. No, hopefully not. But, um, just gonna keep doing what we're doing. You know, it's, it's all we can do. You can I, keep asking questions if you want. There's no, if you want. Is there a time, time limit? I don't know. Is it your time limit? Um, is it your time limit? Is there, it's not is ours, ours. we're not doing shit. Yeah, we don't care. Just ask as many questions as you want. We basically got the cancer bats at two. Oh, oh well, he's right here. You guys can keep asking questions. Yeah, see, no <laughs> rush. He's trust me. All right, do any of you guys see, have any side right. projects or something you're doing now? I have a band called Cock Punch. I've been doing for a couple of years now. You're in that band. I'm in that band. <laughs> right now, uh, we haven't done anything for a while because I've been busy with this, but I'm going to... My guitar, my bass player's at home writing right now, and our guitar player's on tour with us. So we're always collaborating. Um, and then I have about a thousand other bands I want to do that are probably just never going to happen. Because I'm just, everyone I know is amazing. <laughs> Kevin's too busy playing drums and jerking off. Jack's too busy playing drums and jerking off. Drums and jerking off. You want to ask more about like tattoos since we're doing for a tattoo magazine? Do you guys have any like particular favorite tattoo? I like all of them. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not gonna play favorites. No, I like the. I just got the back of my neck done. Um, it took me a while to figure out what I wanted, uh, and I finally did. I basically I just told my girlfriend draw me a back of my neck tattoo, and she did. I gave her like three or four guidelines and she just did and she said if you don't like it I don't care I'm still putting it on the back of your neck and uh, that's probably my favorite because it just she just did it without me you know and then the front of my neck's cool too I like I just got this done uh, uh, for my birthday in January I just got it finished right before this tour like I had one side left actually I just got mine done it took me sucks a while. doesn't it yeah it's terrible. I Getting your throat tattooed. Like that. Yeah. Hours. And the dude's bearing down on your Adam's apple, and then you stand up and you pass out. Yeah, it's awesome. So, all the tattoos around my neck are great. I love them. And my hands. 